All right, folks, we're back for another Fear the Walking Dead review, episode 10 of season 7. So, folks, I was able to check out episode 9 and 10 together, so both of these reviews are now available. And I will start off quickly by saying that there's not much of a continuity between 9 and 10, which means I can talk about episode 10 and it doesn't really spoil events of episode 9. We know how this whole season seven has been thus far so you it, it's right on par with the things we've seen before it was rare that two episodes were back to back and events followed you know what i mean um but this episode is morning cloak um and that is in, in case you don't know is um a very rare butterfly that's where the name of the the, the episode comes from um, and the relevance to it is because Shran, we know Shran loves his collectibles. He's always looking for um, the, his next desirable item to kind of, you know, keep inside of his museum, inside of his tower. And in this case, it's this special rare butterfly that he's looking for. One that actually lives for about a year, which is really uncommon. So there's that. Um, but in this episode, this episode was kind of cute, man. It was a love story. And then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Um, but that starts off starts us off with um, Ali. Ali's at the tower, and Tran isn't here right now. So right now, Howard is running it alongside of John Dory. Um, but uh, Ali, he wants to find, you know, the whole interview process right now. Um, he's trying to make his claim as to why he's here, why he deserves to be here. And, of course, Howard's just like, okay, well, audition. If it makes sense, then we'll keep you. And not just that. I, Ali don't just want to be there in any capacity. He wants to be a ranger. And so, you know, there's a levels of responsibilities with that and certain particulars that Shran is looking for. But Howard is doing the vetting process. And he says, okay, cool. Well, if you can go find this extremely rare butterfly, something that Shran would clearly be obsessed with, that's certainly to get you a look. But that's the, you know, that's just getting you in the door here. You know what I mean? Um, but on his journey, he encounters a young lady. They're both really young. They're like all within their early teens. But they meet Charlie. And Charlie is brought back to the tower. And everybody wants to know, where did you come from? And what's your purpose? What are you doing here? Now, John Dory has seen Charlie in the past. And, of course, you start connecting the dots. You say, oh, you must be with Morgan's crew. So there's a little bit of suspicion here. And that now tasks Howard to uh, to task Ali to say, find out why she's really here. But ultimately, Charlie's saying, I want to be here because I don't, I'm tired of being on the road. This seems like the safe spot. And I just want to prove my keep. You know what I mean? So that's kind of the premise of this episode. Um, Charlie and Ali out on the road together um, with a task done by Howard um, to prove their worth for the tower uh, for them to stay. But at the same time, the two of them are getting to know each other. And like I got to say, this episode had a lot of humanity in it. You know, these two kids on the road talking about where they came from when life was normal, talking about their aspirations uh, during this zombie apocalypse. And, and, and basically, you know, kind of just checking out all these different spots and things that they didn't get to really get to do. I mean, they're still very young. So there was a lot of life left in them in the normal world that they still hope to kind of achieve now in this current state. Um, so, like, it was cute. They went on a little bowling date, which was, like, wow. And I got to say, like, even the different places that they explored, I thought the aesthetics looked good. The bow, the bow and I looked really dope, to be honest. Even in this state of the world, it looked pretty dope. Um, and they're kind of just checking all bucket list items at this point. It's like, hey, you know, Charlie was like, I never went bowling. Ali was like, are you serious? Okay, we'll do it. Amongst other things, you know. Um, but in this episode, you know, the two of them are getting to know each other and they're young and then they young in love and all those sorts of different things. And, you know, difficult decisions are made. Um, like I said, the traveling between the different locations were cool. Um, and this episode was pretty cute. You know, it's give you like this good old chick teen flick type of vibe. You know what I mean? Um, but we know in most love stories that they potentially can end in heartbreak. Or even tragedy and this episode definitely had a lot of really feel-good moments and then it has some moments that was like oh so 
Uh, you know, and that's not foreshadowing about anything in particular. It's just saying that, like, this episode definitely was a little bit of an emotional roller coaster if you became emotionally invested. This episode, I, th I thought, was a lot better than episode nine um, because this one feels much more like the progression of the story. While, you know, last episode focused on Alicia's psychology, I think this one still focused on the big issue, and that's Strand versus Morgan. And while we have, you know, folks that are kind of in the middle here, that's what this is exploring. What side are you on or going to be on? And what does that mean to be on that side? Or do you actually choose to just stay in the middle of everything? So right now, we're getting a lot of perspective about everybody in terms of either Shran's hierarchy and, 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 and his reign of things. And folks saying, I'm going to follow Morgan's philosophy and whatever it may be. Or maybe you're going to follow your own in the middle. And that's where this, this episode kind of goes. But... <clears throat> With that being said, we didn't get much of our main characters here. This really was the focus on these two new uh, younger cast members that was introduced and their venture into the world. And not just the world in terms of zombie apocalypse, but just being young going into the world. <laughs> like, just how big the world is. And just when we think about as adults of like going bowling is something we can do a luxury. But to think, to think about if you did not have that opportunity and how much that would mean to you. And that's kind of where this episode goes with it. So, but this was a cool episode. Can't wait for episode 11. I feel like that's when things are really going to kick into gear. Uh, we did learn a lot of other things that I can't really talk about because I feel like they're truly spoilerish. Um, but there's definitely some developments happening in this episode that could really pay dividends for a lot of people and a lot of things. And something that happened in the end of last episode uh, was kind of mentioned in this episode. And I think we're going to kind of see the whole intent and purpose of with that going into the next episode. So while, you know, like the big arc of everything that's going on right now, there's little tidbits of it. Cause I got a little suspicion of where things may go. Um, they were still kind of their own kind of standalone, you know, episodes. This one a, a little less than the standalone, but still much of a standalone. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but yes, this is episode 10. Jump in the comments, folks. Let me know your thoughts about this episode when you check it out. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews from Fear the Walking Dead. Coming to you real soon.